Brighton Beach box record broken for fourth time in 2016 with $326,000 sale. A father of three has picked up a last-minute Christmas gift for his kids that'd be tough for most dads to top. Brighton East resident Warren Kerr fought off three other bidders to secure a brand-new Dundee Street beach box for a record price of $326,000 today. It was the fourth time a new benchmark has been set for the exclusive foreshore this year. The most recent record holder was a rainbow-colored bathing box that went for $307,000 in May. The team from Nick Johnstone Real Estate donned boardies and thongs for the special summer auction, taking place on the last major selling weekend of the year. Auctioneer Nick Johnstone also fulfilled a promise to the 60-strong crowd and went for a dip, fully clothed, when the hammer came down. Mr. Johnstone made the pledge when the bidding briefly stalled at $320,000. If you get me another bid, it'll jump in the water, he said promptly earning an extra $1,000 from a prospective buyer. The bidding started at $255,000 and quickly rose past the reserve of $270,000. Mr. Johnstone said the orange and yellow bathing box 85 was about 12 sqm in size and, like its neighboring boxes on Dundee Street Beach, had no electricity or running water. They're a bit of a statement, he said of the properties. Number 85 was completed about a month ago, built by Bayside City Council as part of its infill program to bolster the tourist hot spot and raise money to better the beach. Bayside Mayor Alex Del Porto, who attended the auction, said 11 new boxes had been built along the foreshore in recent years. Mr. Del Porto said just three more were planned for the stretch of sand, with one or two of those likely to be built next year. He said the properties were a real family acquisition. Some of the boxes have been in the same family for 60 to 70 years, he said. This is an iconic spot. It's the way we identify Melbourne, like Sydney is identified by the Harbour Bridge. Mr. Kerr said his wife had been eyeing a beach box for quite some time, and they were excited to spend their summers at it with their children Rose, 9, Lou, 7, and Hannah, 4. We wanted to pick it up right before Christmas so we could come down here for the summer holidays with the kids," he said. In a nice twist, close friends of the Kerrs own the Green Beach box next door. Liberal MP Tim Wilson was among the onlookers at the auction. The property was one of 1225 to go under the hammer in Melbourne this week, likely to be the city's last big auction until late February. Samantha.landy at news.com.au